It has been a week since Carrie and Charles began working as bodyguards for the Lanyard couple. Now they, along with Richard and Diana, discuss the case they are investigating. We know that serial killers are often creatures of habit and this is reflected in their crimes. They will target a certain type of person or kill in certain places or use a certain method of killing. And this killer we are hunting has all three such characteristics. He is targeting lesbians. But not other women or gay men, so that seems to rule out general misogyny or homophobia as a motive. All three of his victims were killed in the same city park, and all of them were strangled with a rope. Richard, what clues have you and Diana managed to uncover? The reports from all three murder scenes indicate no fingerprints left behind, so it seems this guy always wears gloves when he kills. Clearly someone who is a bit smarter than most killers. We have also looked at the case files for each victim to try to see what other things these victims may have in common besides being lesbians. Case number 1, Jennifer Hagelman, age 32, married with two daughters. Occupation, waitress. Case number 2, Lisa Jones, age 21, single with no kids. Occupation, college student. Case number 3, Diana Parker, age 25, married with one son. Occupation, none. These case files include photos of the victims and besides being lesbians, they all have one other thing in common. They all had long blonde hair. Oh, no. And knowing the park he did the killings at is right down the street from the headquarters of Aphrodite Agency, that means the most likely future target of this killer is... Debbie. Oh, no. We've got to warn her. 